conversation this, this year has been very interesting. Mm -hmm. Last year we had running backs, defensive tackles in the conversation. This year we have running, uh, running quarterbacks. Yep. Quarterbacks have been throwing the ball. And it's always a question of, well, how do I value these players that do things so differently? And it's not just within one position, yep. but it's in all of football. All these guys do things that are so different uh, on every single play. They can do them super well. Yep. And we've got to answer the question, who's the most valuable? Yeah, and I mean, I, we have to get this thing in the currency of what matters in football, which is wins, right? And so if we can tie a player to a win value, we can much better solve this problem. And we've done that with PFF wins above replacement here. Uh, I know we've, we've teased this in the past, but uh, you know, we're, we're going with the unveil today, pff.com. And, and the idea is that, okay, what wins football games in the NFL? We grade things. We grade how well you know a defensive tackle stops the run. We grade how well a receiver catches the ball after he gets open. We most importantly grade quarterbacks and how accurate they are. And you can use you know the machine learning capabilities of AWS. You can use some uh, mathematical modeling to map how that affects teams' wins and and assign basically an estimate for how much each player has been worth in the NFL or over a given season. Now we're not going to give it all away in this video. You'll want to go check it out, and we go into some of the math behind it and how, you know, the, one of the questions is, well, what's a replacement player? Yep. So you'll want to go read through it. We talk about that. But what this is cool, so cool about this is I can say, hey, a running back is actually worth this many wins yep. above replacement. Lamar Jackson has been worth this many wins yep. above replacement. Russell Wilson has been worth this many wins yep. above replacement. And then you can argue about it all you want, but at least we have somewhere to start that isn't just throwing out I saw this, I saw this. Yep. It's a mathematical foundation for saying, regardless of the position you play, here's how much you've been worth. Yeah, and you could talk about how much value has been generated by, by the people around them, right? So you look at you know, a player like Dak Prescott, his team struggled, but maybe look at how little value that defense has generated over the course of the season. Or you look at Lamar Jackson and think to yourself, wow, he's running the best offense in the NFL. And you look at their offensive line and how much value that, that group has generated. You look at Russell Wilson, and a guy who, you know, we can actually put a number to how much he's carried that offense relative to the rest of the team for ho however many years and why, you know, he's an MVP candidate as well. So you really can contextualize, you know, we at PFF do a great job of saying how good is this player? Well, now we're able to say how valuable was this player? Which is a big step. I mean, mm -hmm. it is a big step to say how good are they playing, but to take all 22 players on the field and put them on the same uh, measuring stick is massive. So this is really cool. You want to go to pff.com, check out the whole article. You can see Lamar Jackson versus Russell Wilson in there, plus the MVPs from the past and where they stacked up. A lot of interesting stuff. It'll be a lot of fun going forward. Have fun arguing. Argue with Eric, not me. Uh, and uh, enjoy. You want to get rid of me and get back to more great PFF YouTube content? All you have to do is push that button right there and subscribe. Thanks for watching.